gonna be watching a video on Hello Yazine's page about Smoke Perp basically falling all the way the fuck off. But he had 10 people at his show. I got damn grandma can pull out more people than that. But let's watch it. Happened. What's popping, y'all? Great googly mowgli has happened again. Smoke Perp, he was doing another show. This time it was in Boston at a venue called the Middle East. And there were fans that posted video footage of them being there before the show and then leaving. They got some footage that I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna show you the clip. <laughs> God damn, cuz. I counted 12 niggas. Hey, at least you can tell the DJ trying, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that is literally fucking 12 people, dog. What the fuck is going on? There's barely anybody. We out. Like 12 to 13 people, and they left. But to be fair, this was before Smoke Perp even went on stage. So you would think when later on when Smoke Perp gets on stage, a bunch of people are going to come. Or it's going to pack out a little bit more. Hell to no, be fair, these are also fans of Smoke Perp. So unless they were just trying to do something for clout and post themselves going there and leaving, they wasted, what, 30 or $40 that it cost for Smoke Perp? to even show up or, or to perform for you. However, more footage came from Smoke Perp performing that I was able to get that really wasn't circling online much, as well as someone that was working the events and doing photography. And this person stated the following on Instagram. Bro, Smoke Perp's show in Boston last night was a straight disaster. I was hired to shoot the event and I saw people waiting in line around 7 p.m. I kept coming outside to see how long the line would get <laughs> And it stayed roughly the same, around 12 to 15 people. And was that the same 12 people that was already inside there? I thought it was weird as the doors opened, but didn't think anything of it. The show goes on normally. The opener come out and kill it. The DJs are doing their thing. But then 11 p.m. hits. Imagine waiting four hours for fucking Smoke Perp. I'd be upset if I waited four hours for Smoke Perp. And then there was only 10 niggas there with me. Like, what the fuck? Four hours after people had gotten there. Everyone on stage starts hyping up Smoke Perp's entrance. 30 minutes go by, nothing. They do it again. 30 minutes go by, nothing. An hour in between the openers and the DJ, keep in mind. Now it's 12 a.m. and Smoke Perp has yet to arrive. 12.20 hits and he finally shows up to the venue. Imagine five and a half hour later, this nigga finally showed up and then was still trash. Keep in mind, he can't even show up promptly for when he's supposed to get there. I think they say the show starts at eight, which is the opener goes on, then Smoke Perp goes on. So these people have been waiting five and a half hours for Smoke Perp, and he just gets to the venue. Perp goes into the green room in the back of the Middle East, which is the venue name, and comes out. I'm like, finally, bro, I can take these photos and go. But then the weirdest stuff happens. Everyone is hype. They finally get to see Perp. He's not performing. I'm like, that's weird. Is that a part of his set? Then I keep watching. Three to four songs go by. And he's not doing anything. He's walking Horrible. around, looking at the audience. This nigga came five hours late to his own performance and then didn't perform. That's a whole hole right there. <laughs> then I realized these aren't even his songs. He's playing music from X, Lil Peep, Juice World, and all his friends. Then as I'm about to take my last photo, he drops his mic and the DJ says nothing. Lights come on and I get my photo and he dipped. No meet and greet. No performance. There was nothing. And people paid for meet and greets. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be upset. I know this nigga meet and greet cost about $5 and shit. But still, I'd be highly upset if I paid for a meet and greet. And your bitch ass didn't stay around for it, boy. I don't care about perp at all. But if you go to a show, regardless of the amount of people, the least you could do is give them a performance. I hate this mentality that there's rappers who feel entitled to the point where they won't even give you the bare minimum for a performance. Because it wasn't what they expected. I'm not a fan of his, but the people in the audience were pissed. That's what happens, I guess, when you're on the come up and you diss the legends for trying to help. Shout out Smoke Perp. All right, so my main problem with this is, with niggas like this, I guarantee when he first came out, if he'd had a show with fucking 20 people there, he'd have been fucking hyped. But now he feels like he's fucking too good to have a show with 20 people because he's fucking not even one major hit, honestly. I don't really remember one. I think Audi was it. You can't really just fucking expect people to really follow you when you're not really doing much and you're just like a knockoff version of someone else. <laughs> I just love how he adds that at the end. This is unbelievable. Pretty much the continuation of the We Outside tour. Everyone is outside the venue, and it sounds like Smoke Perp was listening to himself as well. That because boy said, we, he said we outside, and he left the venue, and he didn't even show up either. And the crazy thing is about this, I'm going to play you guys right now. What you're going to be seeing on your screen is footage of him performing during that show. 
at least in the other footage where there wasn't many people in the crowd, he was putting in effort. He was actually trying to get the crowd high, perform in his songs. Now he just looks defeated, honestly. Like he doesn't even have a soul within him anymore. He's got the ski mask on. It's kind of like he doesn't want to be seen. He's just walking around. And then towards later, there's video footage of him kind of just like hiding under his jacket and just walking through the venue outside and leaving. And then there were fans there that voiced their concern and the fact that they were upset with his performance or actually lack thereof. And this is what they had to say. And now you're sitting here trying to say like, oh yeah, bro, no, I'm gonna be on my come up, I'm gonna come up, like, yo, straight up, you really want to go home and eat some ice cream, bro. No, we're here trying to give you some money, bro. We're, we're trying to help you, help, we're trying to help you eat. And you're trying to eat somewhere else? The f is that? All right, so a lot of people might find this funny, but these are actually what you call core fans. Like, you know, cause by this point, Smoke Perp doesn't have any fucking like fans just out there, you know? So this is somebody that actually paid money to come see this man and probably would have paid for merchandise and all that shit. When you start to disappoint these core fans, then this is when you really just lose everything because you know, now you have the people that are willing to pay the $20 to come see you. They're like, holy shit, fuck this dude. So then you just go on like a downward spiral where nobody really gives a fuck about you at all anymore. That's just my opinion. The crazy thing is another fan, and I posted this on Instagram, uh, what the fans are saying is that he ditched his meet and greet for the strip club. Yep, that's it. This person said, I really just want to know what the hell is up. It's got to be something. I know that's not the same tour manager, but damn, like a brand new artist could have pulled a bigger crowd. Then dude peels on his meet and greet and goes straight to a strip club. Like, come on, man. And these are the fans that he's got left. This is all you got left, and you decide to just... I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Boy came late as shit because he expected people to be there by the time he got there late as shit because of the last time he had a show. And then he got there, and there was the same amount of people, about 15. So he kept his ski mask on, and he didn't really want to have another video of him go viral of him fucking performing for 15 people. So he just walked out. Bro, I asked Smoke Perp for a photo next to his tour bus, and he straight up said no. Now I wish I did roast him in the video. Shit, you should have. He's, this nigga's a piece of shit. He's upset. Is in two days, I believe. It's on the 28th at South Burlington, Vermont. So if you're out. Shit, this nigga had like fucking 20 dates already. Does anybody have videos from these dates before this? Go show Smoke Perp some support. He really needs it. He's canceled. I think he canceled his Connecticut show. But uh, yeah, you know, you get the gist. That nigga fell off. 10 people came to the show. Nobody gonna come to the next one. All that good stuff. I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks. Uh, post a regular video in the comments. Uh, whatever, you know. Blah. All right.